many of you have seen the trailer for the new show, Secret Mill Millionaire, you know just how powerful it is. The premise is simple. It sends some of the country's most successful entrepreneurs undercover into some of the country's poorest areas, where they find unsung heroes who just need a little help to take off. And we're lucky to have one of the first Secret Millionaires here with us today, Danny Johnson. And thank you so much for coming in uh, this morning. For you, going back, you went down to Knoxville, Tennessee. You're not from there, but you know what it's like to come up from nothing. Absolutely. Absolutely. I actually grew up in a violently abusive home that was drug infested. Um, that resulted in physical, emotional, mental, and sexual abuse, um, only to end up at 21 completely homeless with $2.03 to my name, a $35,000 debt and uh, suicidal and I started a business from the trunk of my car in a payphone booth and became a millionaire inside of the first two years. Today I'm a multi-millionaire, a radio talk show host, a best-selling author of the book Grooming the Next Generation for Success and Spirit-Driven Success. I've got my third book that's just been released called First Steps to Wealth. And you went back to Knoxville, Tennessee, undercover, tr mm -hmm. living basically on $40 a week <laughs> and trying to find these heroes. Yes, it was awesome. <laughs> it was an amazing experience. Um, and actually, um, you know, uh, $40 for the week, uh, some people might think that was incredibly difficult, but I have five children. We've got three grandchildren, and I feed a lot of people on a weekly basis. And one of the things we teach on our website, dannyjohnson.com, is really how to budget and how to save money so that you can make money your slave. And so $40 was actually a little bit too much because I feed my family on $100 a week. And you volunteered in a few different places. Let's take a look at the clip. I when you went to a local music yeah. school. He's got a full music scholarship at the University of Tennessee. Oh my gosh. So, let me interrupt him. Hey Marquise, I want you to meet Hi. Danny. How long have you been playing this? Uh, two years. Listen to him, he's just astonishing. <laughs> to me. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. There is some talent right there. Yes. Now, you also volunteered at a soup kitchen and I guess mm -hmm. a, an organization that makes over bedrooms yes. for sick children. Which, which of, of all of these organizations, which one really hit, hit your heart hardest? I cried at every single one of them. They all three hit my heart for different reasons. You know, being homeless and having such a heart to help people increase their income and pay off their debt and change their lives, the Love Kitchen really had an impact, you know, once being homeless. But I'll tell you the joy of music, the clip that you just watched. I actually actually went around the corner and just bawled because they are reaching out to the inner city kids and I grew up like those kids and so no one had reached out to me like that so to have them reach out to these kids and raise them up and groom them for success that young man who you just saw as well as another one I met has scholarships to universities in this country they're never gonna go back to the inner city that's changing generations no that certainly is how did you decide you gave out checks at the end of your, of your stay how did you decide which organizations to help that was difficult because the day that I showed up at the Love Kitchen, they had received a huge sum of money and they have a lot of support from their city. So that normally would have been the place you know, to give most of the money because I was once homeless. But it was based on not only uh, who needed the money, but who also had the greatest generational impact. And the Joy of Music, in my opinion, did have the greatest generational and impact. they are so grateful and they wanted to say a special thank you Aww. to you. Hey Danny, it's Marquise. Uh, um, I've been enjoying my first year of college. Thank you so much for your advice uh, and your kindness. You've really inspired me. Johnson, thanks very much. We cannot wait for Secret Millionaire. It airs this Sunday, March 6th on ABC at 8, 7 Central.